The last few days have seen headlines dominated by calls for the U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions to step down. He's accused of deliberately failing to disclose his meeting with the Russian ambassador in the run-up to the election. Sessions has since removed himself from any investigations involving the Trump campaign, but demands for his resignation continue. And now President Trump has decided to challenge what many are calling hysteria with a more direct approach. Trump posted the following picture of Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer with Vladimir Putin. Schumer believes Sessions should give up his post, and Trump's demanding a similar investigation, calling the senator a total hypocrite. He followed up that post with a picture of House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, another Sessions detractor, at the same table as the Russian ambassador. And the president quickly suggesting her close Russian ties should be looked into just like Schumer's. RT's Emily Sue now reporting on how the whole scandal unfolded. Attorney General Jeff Sessions landed himself in the so-called anti-Trump political witch hunt by meeting with the Russian ambassador. But according to CNN, he didn't just meet any Russian, he met the Kremlin's top informant. Russia's ambassador to the U.S. isn't new to Washington, more controversy. Current and former U.S. officials say he's considered one of the Kremlin's top spies by U.S. intelligence. Some U.S. intelligence officials believe he's more than that, far more. They believe he has very close ties to Russian intelligence, according to current and former senior U.S. government officials. CNN is quoting unnamed officials for this claim. But hey, that's pretty much the norm nowadays when it comes to allegations involving Russia. So let's put this aside for a second. What the mainstream media seem to be forgetting after calling Kizyak Russia's top spy is who else met him? Cute drumroll. Ex-President Barack Obama. He met this top spy not once but at least 22 times during his time in office in the White House. So does that mean Obama did the unthinkable? But Obama's not been alone when it comes to pressing Russian flesh. The others just aren't being ousted by the media, like Sessions. Have you met with the Russian ambassador in your capacity? I, I have. I've met with the Russian ambassador with a, a group in my capacity with a group of other senators. Now, look at what Senator Claire McCaskill recently tweeted. No call or meeting with Russian ambassador ever. But wait, according to this tweet from 2013, she did. Off to meeting with ambassador. Then her memory came back or somebody reminded her, and that is why she backtracked and tweeted, never met with him, at least not one-on-one. -on -one. That sounds familiar. Isn't not telling the whole truth from the start the exact reason why so many are trying to burn Sessions at the stake? But under the current political climate, sitting in the same meeting room with a Russian can land you in hot water. And that is why former and current Trump advisors are coming forward one by one to declare they've even just nodded or said hello to the Russian ambassador as that alone seems enough to send you to the gallows. I think it's very important for Trump to realize that the Democrats are going to create these media swarms about every single member of his cabinet and ultimately against him. And the idea is to chip away and to tear away and essentially carry out uh, a media coup and, uh, and overthrow the government. I think that's their objective.